Well, I'm here with the master squid angler himself, Dale Maverick from Exclusive Tackle, and he's gonna show you guys exactly the gear that he uses to catch these awesome squid. So, Dale, let's go through it. All right, so, fishing land base for squid, we use a fairly unique rod. So this rod is one of our Neritica rods, which was custom built for this purpose. Now, basically, this is an eight foot six rod, and it's been custom built with a five to eight kilo back end, so we've got plenty of power here for throwing the jigs out and we've also got a nice light one to three kilo top. So basically what we like is a nice polymer bend right the way through, and that just assists us with catching our fish. Now that guy's matched to a 2500 Saltist. Now that is basically the reel of my choice, mainly because it's got an ultra smooth drag. So when we do hook these squid, we don't pull any barbs through the tentacles. Now that reel there is spooled with some 12 pound WTF Gliss, and that is also attached to an eight pound monofilament uh, line there as well for our leader. Now I use monofilament rather than fluorocarbon because when the tentacles get up and onto our leaders, we tend to rough it up a little bit and just having that little bit of stretch there usually tends us from snapping our lines. So that's basically our rod and reel setup. Very unique and it is a fairly one of a kind in Australia. There's not too many companies that do these. So these were actually specifically made for this purpose. And it's unique and uh, ultra light as well. It is, it's very is light, man. so light, guys. Awesome. Now, we do use a little bit of a custom made net as well because we are fishing on rock walls that tend to be 12 to 15 feet away from the water. It is quite dangerous to sort of run down those rock walls. Sometimes you can get fairly hurt. So basically what we've done is we've made a telescopic net. So this is a three piece telescopic net. That's actually based off a uh, squid spike that they, they use in China. Now usually they've got big barbs on the end of them, but obviously we're trying to do things as humanely as possible. So we've taken those barbs off and we've just made a simple net here just out of steel and some monofilament there. So that just allows us to shoot our nets out and then sco scoop our squid, bring them back in. Now these rods are rated to about 30 pounds, so you should be able to pull pretty well any squid in without snapping those guys. So that's really, really handy to have A 15 like kilo us. squid would be really nice. I'd be over the moon <laughs> with something like that. That's cool. And now when you're out squid fishing, what are some of the other basic things that you need to, uh, to take with you? Uh, so we definitely want a lot of light. So we're walking along some fairly dark trails uh, on most nights. And the best brand that I've found personally is the lead lenses. Now this guy here, this is the M14 torch. Now basically the only reason we use this is it's got a very nice focus and a very white light. White light will penetrate through the water better, which gives us a better chance of seeing the squid. And on my head, this guy is for when we finally see the squid and we need to, we need to get a little bit of light to catch them, but nothing too serious. This is the lead lens H14.2. So this is a rechargeable as well as a battery operated. And it's got a nice zoom lens there as well which is nice and easy to just zoom in on those squid when they're a little bit further away. It's got all your brightness settings on the back as well, and that's what I've found to be some of our best spotting torches that we've used so far. Mm. And um, what's in some of these packs? If I went in the water, I'd sink like a lead sinker, honestly. It's, there's a fair bit in this stuff. So we carry batteries, obviously, because we burn through about a packet a night. Um, our trusty Ica spike. So this is the most humane way to kill a squid. And behind the eyes, bang. Clear, dead. Instantaneous. Instantaneous. There's no harm to the squid. There's no suffocating, nothing like that. But it's also a really good tenderizer. So if you don't do this, you're not going to have tender squid. We all love tender calamari. Well, there you have it. Some pretty cool tips with Dale Maverick from Exclusive Tackle. Now we have a huge giveaway, one and a half thousand dollars worth of gear that we're giving away. And if you'd like to share in this massive prize pack, all you have to do is click the link in the description and follow the instructions. Well, good luck in that one. I'm Andy from Coastfish TV, and we'll catch you later. Yes, 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 yes. Take it easy. Behind his hood, coming from behind. Yep, there you go. We got him, we got him. <laughs> <laughs>